All right, great. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me and you're in the right spot. Looks like we're right on time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 a.m. Eastern, and uh, depending where you are, anywhere else in between. So today we are gonna talk about automated trading, amazing secret strategies, and we're gonna look at how basically algos and robots can help get through your trading day in just really minute to day and sometimes no time at all. And with that said, let's talk about speculation and accepting risk. We always try to uh, speculate with the intent of profiting, but of course we have to assume risk to make that happen. So with that said, do take a moment to review our risk disclosure. It is important. Not exciting, but it is important. Really, all funds committed, all funds committed should be risk capital. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. All right, great. So with that said, let's go ahead and move along. We're gonna talk about technology that experts are using, how to transform your trading in just one click or a minute a day, diversify into global markets. And you can do this with bull bear and even flat market conditions. So this is uh, sort of what we're talking about today. This trader here is struggling with his orders, his size, buy, sell, and meanwhile, the algo is done in basically a nanosecond. So let's stick around to the end. We're gonna focus, we'll use our time wisely. I will not waste your time. I think hopefully you'll learn a lot of new things and have a little bit of entertainment on the side. We'll have some live demonstrations and some new solutions. Then we'll have a special offer worth over $32,000. We'll offer that for you at an enormous discount or even for free. We'll show you all about that. We like to mention this up front so no one is surprised at the end. So today's agenda, a little bit about what's going on in the markets this week and about us, four trading secrets, why you don't want to swim upstream against the algos. And we'll have live demonstrations. We'll even look at options trading with algos. And then we'll have that special offer for you. And then FAQs. So with that said, what's going on this week? We won't spend too much time on this, but yesterday stock markets uh, had a nice bounce on some optimism regarding uh, vaccines uh, for COVID-19, as well as uh, you know some talk of reopening the economy state by state. Here's what it looked like on the hourly uh, E-mini S&P 500 chart. If you're not familiar with the E-mini S&P 500, that's okay. It's just a, a proxy for the uh, SPX or the SPY really. And we're gonna talk a lot more about the ES and I'll let you know why. And then here's bad news is, is good news, right? As you noticed, um, we're well off those lows from March, even though we're kind of heading towards unemployment levels, Great Depression levels today, over 20 million jobs, ADP reported uh, that were lost in April. The federal government data will be out Friday. It could be even worse because ADP and the government sort of uh, they have a little bit of a difference in how they calculate things. So here's what it looks like on the hourly chart. Going back to March, we're kind of in this upwards channel on the S&P 500. Maybe a little bit of a head and shoulders formation forming here. Here's the daily chart. So that's kind of what things are looking like now. Here's the euro currency. If you don't trade the euro, um, <clears throat> that's okay. And I'm going to show you why we're even including it here in just a few minutes, as well as crude oil. I thought this was important to take a look at and remember how crazy markets have been lately. It went negative, negative $40. I've never heard of such a thing. Since 1991, I've been doing this and um, I've never seen anything like that. And here's gold. Gold's in a nice uptrend since those uh, lows in the stock market in March, but we're kind of in a pennant formation here now. Maybe breaking out a little bit to the downside, but we shall see. And Here's a traditional commodity, sugar. Uh, what do you know about sugar? Probably nothing, and that's okay. And I'm gonna show you why uh, I even mention it. So stick around. Remember, the whole point of that is to say prices are always correct and we aren't. So that's Ed Sequoia, Market Wizard. Great book if you haven't read it. And there's a Market Wizards too, also by Jack Schwager. Interviews with the top traders in the world. Even Jim Rogers is featured in there. So remember, don't fight the tape. Trade the environment that the market offers. You don't want to swim upstream. So we're going to talk about two new solutions, algo-driven systems trading, fully automated across global markets, back-tested performance, one-click activation, 
and also algo generated option trades. You've never seen anything like it. We have integrated trade alerts and then automated risk and profit controls. And a little bit about us first before we dive in. Uh, that's me there at the trading floor at the CME options pit uh, with some of our traders and staff a few years back. The trading floor does not look like that anymore. It's a, kind of a ghost town, but we're a brokerage firm since 1997. We've been doing this a long time. And we've traded millions and millions of options and contracts over the years. So that's a picture I took down, down there on the, uh, I believe that's the Coffee Sugar Cocoa Exchange. That's, I think, of the CME group as well. So we're located in California and Illinois, and we're regulated, of course. This was a, kind of a poor quality video I took down on the floor. You can't get the audio, but that's okay. So it's kind of fun to take a look back, and of course, the floor is a lot different now. So, and who am I? I'm Eric Gebhard, been doing this about 29 years. I'm a co-founder of AltaVest, licensed since 1991. I have my BS in business administration from the University of Southern California. I got started way back when my interest was peaked during a, an investments course, and that's my textbook there. We were studying futures markets, forward markets, options. Those are all my notes there. I was actually paying attention one of the few times, right, in class. Um, so I enjoyed this quite a bit. I, uh, we were studying crude oil at the time. It had doubled in value. Gold prices had jumped on the invasion of Kuwait. And that was a very interesting time to be studying the markets. I was actually able to get involved in the securities industry for a time, but I was uh, turning my attention back to futures and options, and I've been there ever since. So with that said, let me go ahead and do this on the webcam. I'll have a little more screen space this way. I'll shut down the webcam for the moment, and then we're going to jump into the four trading secrets. Don't try to figure everything out by yourself, like this guy from the movie Pi. He was trying to figure out the order in the markets, uh, looking at patterns and numbers and so forth. Interesting movie. But we've traded millions of contracts since 1997. So we've got the experience behind us. We've learned a lot of things along the way, thousands of ways that just didn't work. And we have uh, this trading solution, a couple solutions we're going to talk to you, built with all that experience, the input and development of industry veterans. So stick around, we'll get to that in just a second. Here's secret two, full-time trading sort of stinks, at least doing it the way this guy's doing it. You don't wanna sit around and be tied to 40 different monitors. You've got your own stuff to do. You do not wanna let this be you here, frustrated day by day. And then forecasting isn't easy. We have this guy in our lobby up front. There's a little ball that swirls around there. He tells you to buy, sell, or hold. And uh, so forecasting, you have to be 100% perfect with picking the correct market, direction, strategy, your entry timing and price, as well as exiting your, your risk and reward. That's probably the most important thing and that often gets overlooked. So forecasting isn't easy unless maybe you're a monkey. So here's this, simulated results of 100 monkeys throwing darts at the stock pages. Average monkey outperforms the index by an average of 1.7% per year since 1964. So there is your, the premier fund manager, stock picker right there. Now remember, emotions be become our own enemy and leaving, leaving us perplexed. I think we all have these emotions, fear, greed, hope, anxiety when we're trading. I know I feel it, you can't avoid it. But as Mark Lindheim says, we have bad wiring. So really, we have a built-in bias to make poor investment decisions. He's talking about selling the lows and buying the highs. It's just that simple. We've all done it. I feel your pain. And that's from uh, Alexander Forbes Investments. I think that's a good quote. And remember too, uh, your brain is killing your returns. That's uh, another good quote. I thought I'd put that in there from Real Investment Advice. So there are three common biases when making investment decisions, according to The Motley Fool, I, and I agree with this. Confirmation bias, anchoring bias, and recency bias. We're not going to dive into you know into those any uh, further, other than to mention those. You know, confirmation bias. Uh, I'm sure you're all aware of kind of what that means. It um, if you have some sort of thought and the market does what you think, then you think you're a genius, right? Uh, or anchoring bias. Maybe uh, you're just kind of wedded to a trade, or you fall in love with the trade and you won't get rid of it. Or recency. If something 
has worked you know five times in a row for you you think it's just going to keep working forever so with that said let's not fight the algos remember the algorithms are dominating the markets robot analysts are outwitting humans on their investment picks that's from bloomberg you've all heard about uh what deep blue uh being the chess master now. But anyway, algorithms dominating 80% of the stock market movement, machines causing drops and rallies, large institutional firms commanding 80% of the market. So, you know, when these big moves are occurring in the stock market, as much as we like to think it's, think it's us mo moving the market, we're, we don't even count when it comes to being able to move markets. Much, much bigger powers are involved. Algorithmic trading, stock market volatility jumps as coronavirus spreads, article from Investors Business Daily. So even in the last month here, the algorithmic trading uh, is thriving on the volatility. So you call that revolutionary trading. So here is your trading competition, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, uh, it's not any person, it's not anyone across country at their computer or on their, their smartphone app placing an order to buy or sell a few hundred of this or that uh, commodity or shares of stock. So this is your competition, no emotion, they run automatically, they have built-in risk controls. And that reminded me of this, and I had a video, but uh, the audio won't work, so it reminded me of the Terminator, the machines. There's that quote um, that says here, listen and understand, the Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with, it can't be reasoned with, it doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear, it will absolutely not stop ever until your account is dead. And of course, I took liberties there with the dialogue and uh, inserted the word account there, but there is a lot of truth to that. Um, the machines are just gonna run right over you. They don't really have any thoughts or care or feeling for you. So how do you use the algos on your side? How can you use them to compete? As the saying goes, if you can't beat them, maybe it is time to join them. So how about this solution, automated systems trading, User-friendly, novice or advanced, it doesn't matter. You, you're able to filter for risk, reward parameters, types of strategies, markets, and so on. I'll show you all that. You can do it in minutes a day, or maybe not spend any time at all with it. Automated risk and profit controls, you just activate or deactivate with an on-off switch. And you can use, uh, of course, strategies for bull markets, bear markets, up and down moves, it doesn't matter. The algorithms don't care across different uh, global markets and sectors. So we've got decades of experience doing this. Where we have got a fresh approach to trading. We've done all the testing like this uh, test pilot here. So we're gonna jump into a live demo. We're gonna show you how to take action towards the end here. So meet your new robot friends. We call it AV Systems. And we're gonna jump into that platform. So go ahead and give me just a moment to switch screens. Okay, it looks like we are now looking at AV Systems. Here's the homepage to AV Systems, and this is the platform for algorithmic trading systems, and we'll go through this step by step. It's super easy, and it's actually very, very powerful, effective, and actually fun. So really, you have four steps. You can explore your systems, then you would be able to subscribe to any system, and then you can activate, the system on your account and then from that point you just monitor performance so why don't we just start sort of looking at step one and how this works first of all you see a table and there are 25 systems on this table out of 1851 on the platform so how would you even begin to sort through all these well that's how you do it you just explore and the first thing you might want to do is customize the table so that the table is actually displaying what you want to see so maybe you don't want to see the name uh, or the, 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 of the developer, or if it's one of your favorites, maybe you don't really care about the, uh, let's say, the start date so much. And let's go ahead and click OK. So now you can see the table is sorted and filtered based on those uh, those uh, those comments here that you just uh, used or check boxes, I should say. So now, what would you do if you wanted to say, okay, 
I'm interested in filtering these systems based on some parameters. So that's really the best way to do it, kind of narrow the universe of choices. So there's some quick filters available here, and then there are advanced filters available here as well. So let's say you want to look only at systems that have a live track record, so live PL of a certain amount. So maybe anywhere from, let's say, I'm just going to use these numbers here. So now you have 1,587 systems. So you filtered out some. And now let's say it's been tracked for more than one year and it has profits since that time. So let's just add that as a quick filter. So now you have 508 systems to, to go through. And let's say it has clients that are actually trading it and require capital for each system is less than $5,000. That's a good quick filter. So now you've got 34 to look at. So let's take a look here. You can see the different markets traded, these symbols. If you're not familiar with the symbol, that's okay. Um, you can drill down and I'll show you how to do that. You can see that the type of system is listed here. S means swing and I means intraday. So the two types of systems, intraday means you're always out by the end of the day. You can uh, look at the total profit and loss. So you can see this is uh, ascending or descending tracked profit and loss and your live profit and loss percentage of winning sessions your profit factor your annualized rate of return return on investment uh, worst drawdown required capital so you can go through all this and look at any one of these um, systems based on any filter or any uh, really title or heading that you want so let's drill down and take a look here at a particular system and let me show you how this works so let's say you're looking at um, let's just pick one I'm not even gonna let's say this 10-year uh, bond let's just pick the top one so you click on that and now you'll see the profile of the system so you can see here this trading this system has been trading live starting in July of last year. That's what it means when it's highlighted in green. And when it's a white background, that means it's been on the on the platform and back tested back to that time time period. And then when it's kind of a uh, light yellow, that means uh, uh, it wasn't traded live yet, but it's just been uh, tracked on the platform. So you can see this system, it's kind of up and down. Really the performance is sort of uh, let's just say weak on this particular system and you can see here at the top suggested capital all the numbers are based off the suggested capital and it includes all all cost and when i talk about cost you can see here the cost is 55 dollars to subscribe to this system and that comes directly out of your account you can see it's an intraday system it's trading the 10-year treasury note futures contract you can see the total profit and loss on this strategy, just a little bit ahead, $1,200. And it's uh, profitable since being tracked last year. And you can see here the live PNL, uh, I'm sorry, not profitable since being tracked. Um, and then it has a drawdown of just about $3,000. So it's not really an active system, uh, but I just wanted to show you, I just picked one at random and show you how that works. But here is, here's where you can have a lot of fun. You can look at the top 10, Okay, so these are the top 10 strategies. You can see them live trading right now for the current session. And you can see here the previous session, top 10 strategies or systems, I should say. And then last month, you can go back all of last year and even back to 2001. So here's a NASDAQ system last year that just absolutely crushed it, $142,000 profit. And last month, Another NASDAQ system here uh, did extremely well. Uh, last uh, yesterday, here's another NASDAQ system that did great. And today, wouldn't you know it, there's a NASDAQ system that's doing great. And you see gold as well. Um, and you can see the British pound here, uh, Euro, the Euro currency here as well. So let's just say that uh, 
you're looking at this particular, the ALF NASDAQ. I've seen this before, and I'm going to point out a couple things to you here using this as an example. So once again, you get the same performance table, and you can see here the total P&L since 2010. It's uh, profitable. You can see here since 2017 or since 2020. But let me show you what's interesting about some of these systems. If you scroll back down here and you see March of this year, remember what happened in March of this year to the uh, to the stock market and to the NASDAQ down, what, over 30%. But the system actually generated over 18,000 in profits in March. So that's called non-correlated returns. And that's why we like these types of systems a lot because they can be short just as easily as they can be long. And this is a, a intraday system. It means it's always going to be out by the close if it takes a signal. So let's look at here on March. You just drill down even further. You can see what happened in March. And it'll show you here each time it had a trade on any particular day. There's the PL, and you can see it had a winner, loser, loser, winner, loser. And then it had a string of big winners. And you can see the accumulated uh, PL growing and growing and growing throughout the month. So that's why we really, really like this platform because you can have access to various systems that are historically uh, having performed well in times when perhaps other asset classes have not. So let me say if, let me show you how to do something here if you were interested in activating the system. You click on this here and you buy the license and you trade one unit and the $70 per month is the developer fee in this case and it comes right out of your account and you would subscribe to it by clicking the button here and you read the disclaimer and accept it. And then you would want to next, once you have bought the license, you would want to activate the system. And the way to do that is you can either immediately activate it, you can choose to enter at or a better than entry price, or you can choose to enter on the next entry signal or on the next session. We typically like to just immediately activate and then you would click the uh, accept and then activate. And then let me show you what happens once you activate a system. It shows up under my systems here. So you can see, this is just a demo account. You can see some of the systems that we have uh, in the demo account when I run some of these webinars. And let me show you here. This is where it would show up as active. So you can see here, here's crude oil and it's losing money today. And overall, since we turned it on, it's lost $2,500. Here's an e-mini S&P futures system. It's uh, gaining about $1,190, no activity today. Gold, no activity today, and that's losing $1,800. A Nikkei futures contract system, no activity, losing $50. Here's an e-mini NASDAQ system, that's down $3,380. And then here's a couple big winning systems uh, on silver and treasury bonds. Over $12,000 profitable and over $8,300 profitable in this demo account and accumulated profit and loss over $14,000 on just the systems that we have active in this demo account. Now, if you wanna get very granular and you want full transparency, it is here. So let me show you how that works. So let's look at, you can see, clicking on this gold, you can see where the current fills are. You can see the buy order, the sell order, and the price here. If you want to look at any outstanding orders, you can see it has, uh, here's a silver system. You can see the stop order, the buy stop here at this price, 1558. You can see the sell stop on this treasury bond contract right here. So there is full transparency and granularity with everything you're doing. Now here's something too I want to show you. If you want to deactivate a system, all you do is click on this and you click stop strategy. And then it will ask you if you want to stop it immediately or simply not trade until the next session. And then you just click deactivate and it's just that simple. So you saw how easy it was to activate and how easy it is to deactivate or 
you know, quite frankly, we have clients that have been in systems for many, many months, if not years, and have never done anything. They've activated it and they've just walked away and let the system play out. And other, other people are more engaged. They're more active in terms of turning the systems on and turning them off. So there's a good rundown of the high points and the highlights of the AV Systems platform. I think it's a, um, a lot of fun to actually go through the process of filtering and choosing. Uh, and you like to look at, we'd like to look at the top 10 systems as well. And then let me show you also one other thing under my systems. I wanted to point out one other item here on this uh, particular NASDAQ system called Classic Swing. And don't worry about names. The developers come up with some really clever names at times. But let me show you something else here. Once again, you're looking at a NASDAQ system, and now this is a swing trading system, meaning it might take a short or long position and try to hang on to it for days or weeks at a time. But you can see once again here in March, look at that $15,000 gain per contract if you were to be trading on this particular system, if it were active. So you can see in March when the stock market was getting really, really beat up, the system was actually generating gains. Uh, you can see all the track record here day by day and then the accumulated P&L. So once again, that's why we like these systems a lot because they give you so much versatility. Uh, they're absolute return instruments. They offer diversification. They're non-correlated. And you don't need to know anything about any of these markets. I mean, for example, if you go back to the front page here and explore systems, and let's say you want to uh, clear all the filters, and you know now you're looking at all these different markets, the NASDAQ, silver, the Russell, treasury bonds, crude oil, uh, you name it. There's uh, sugar. And in fact, you can just do this. You can just type in the market you're, you may have an interested uh, interest in, and, and of course it'll pull up. So you know crude. But the point I'm getting at is you don't need to know anything about the fundamentals or technicals at all about any of these markets. The algorithms are already coded, and they're going to trade the strategy in each system a certain way based on that code. All right, so very good. All you really do then is you explore, you find what you like, you subscribe, then you activate, and you just watch and monitor their performance after it's activated. And you simply do it under the My Systems here. You can see every day your, your total results. And of course, full transparency, you can see all the fills for any system, all the orders that are in, in the market that the algorithms have automatically placed for you. So it's very, very powerful, and it's very, very user-friendly. You see how simple it is. And with that said, I want to show you the next step. Let's go ahead and switch screens here. I'm getting a lot of questions, and I think, uh, you know, I think I'm going to uh, answer some of those already. Yeah, we talked about deactivating. Yeah, the monthly cost. Uh, each developer has a different cost. And um, Let's see here. Let's take a look at the next screen. Give me one moment. Okay, there we go. We're back. So what I want to do here is show you what's next. You've seen AV Systems, the algo trading platform. Maybe you feel like you're drinking from the fire hose. I hope not. And you're thinking this. Now, honestly, were you thinking that? I think you were. We get a lot of that sometimes. I love it, but I've never traded futures. Okay, that's okay. Remember, futures trading is the place to be. Record volume in Q1 of this year, up 43%, 111 billion contracts trading in the futures markets. Remember, they're global, offer deep liquidity, transparency, leverage, diversification. They're just as uh, easily, uh, the systems can trade long and short. There's no weird short selling rules or margin you know, to borrow or anything like that. And of course, they're very cost effective. So. 
once again, to reiterate, you don't need to know anything about any of these markets if you're trading with algos. The algos do everything for you. What's the the DAX doing? That's well, if you don't know what the DAX is, the German Stock Market Index. That's a very actually uh, a very heavily traded market, and there are some systems on the DAX that uh, have done very very well. But you know, the yen, the Dow, hogs, beans, gold, crude, copper, you name it. You don't know need to know anything about that. You know, what's going on in the copper market? Who cares? The algorithms do everything for you in any market condition up or down. So precious metals, there's an algo. Energy markets, there's a bunch of algos. Stock market indexes, you bet. Currencies, absolutely. So you name it, it's available on the platform. We just kind of scratched the surface, but our time is limited and that's how you filter. You saw how easy that was. You can filter based on any parameters, whether it's risk or drawdowns or live P&L or capital required or the strategy or the type of market and uh, makes it super, super powerful, super fun to do some automated trading. So with that said, here's the next section here, algorithms to create and manage option trades. So this, people absolutely love this, and let's jump into this real quickly. Secret weapons for automated options trading for up, down, and even sideways markets. So you have option strategies for any market condition, and we have some secret strategies, and I'm positive that you have not seen these. So remember, if you've not traded options, don't worry, we'll remove the guesswork. You can do it in minutes. And there are advantages to futures options. If you have traded options or futures options, uh, I think this is something you probably haven't seen regardless. So we're talking about using options for speculation, just like Winthorpe there and Valentine from Trading Places. Speculate on price movement, or you can use them as a hedging vehicle. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about both. So before we do that, we'll take a, take a look at stock market indexes versus individual stocks. Why do we like an index and not a stock? Well, it's convenient. You follow just a couple markets, one or two indexes, not thousands of stocks or funds or ETFs, and they're also less volatile. An uh, index might move, you know, three, four or five percent in a day. That'd be a really, really big move, which we saw a little bit last month. But meanwhile, individual stocks can move, you know, 10, 20, even 50 percent in a day. They can be volatile. As you know, here's Virgin Galactic down 78 percent since February. Here's Boeing, you have blue chip down the same amount in one year, 78 percent. And they may move also uh, in a non-correlated manner. And I'm sure you're familiar with this. Here's the NASDAQ. I think it's a good example. Uh, NASDAQ in March starting to drop like a rock. And meanwhile, a Zoom communication, which is what everyone's using now for work and school, uh, started to really, really take off. And it had some problems with uh, privacy and it sold off and then it's rallied again. But anyway, you can see the non-correlation. Now let's look at insurance companies. You know how they make money. You pay premiums and they take your premium and offer you coverage. And they are paid to assume and manage risk. They sell and manage time. They insure themselves by hedging and they're consistent and patient in their business plan, and they look at probabilities. They're just looking at math. What are the long-term odds? So they're looking at statistics, actuarials, expected returns, and that's how they do it. They, yeah, they use math, and you know what? Casinos do the same thing. They look at high probability outcomes, and here's a roulette wheel. You spin it 38 times, you bet on the green zero. If you do that enough times, you're gonna lose 200 bucks. So $5.26 on average per spin, but that's the house edge. So if the casino could keep you playing for a million years, they would, because they're gonna make money on you in the long run. And they do it even though they will lose at times. So what about high probability option strategies? Well, that's collecting premiums. So a baseball analogy would be base hits, just making it to first base, not going for home runs. And you do this by selling or going short options. You need to be consistent and patient. You need to manage that risk because you will have losers. Manage reward, you can never get greedy. And you need the proper tools. That's really important. How do you make all this happen? How do you put it all together? So remember, lots of base hits, you're not swinging for the fences. So 
real quickly, what are some short option strategies where you collect premium by selling options? They can be non-directional, they can be bullish or bearish, and we like to look at what we call higher probability outcomes with predetermined risk. So what am I talking about? Well, we're looking at credit spreads. These are covered strategies, meaning they're insured positions. You collect premium and then you insure that position, predetermined risk and reward. They can be non-directional and they have a margin of error. The fancy term we like to call it is wiggle room. So here's a, a spread and I'll show you in just a second, but don't get uh, ahead of ourselves here trying to figure this out. But we're just looking at the E-mini S&P 500. Here it is trading away. And you know we're selling calls above the market, selling puts below the market, and collecting premium. And we're going to show you that. But before we do that, let's look at the delta. What is the delta when we talk about options? Real simple. We won't spend a lot of time. It's all you need to know. You can go into the weeds on the Greeks and gamma and you know short gamma and all that. But um, and there's well, there's a bunch more. But we don't we don't need that. Here's the S and P at 2,500. Here's a 2150 put at 15, the delta is 0.25. Market drops 10 points to 2490. So what happens to the value of this 2150 put that was at 15 points? Well, it is now at 18 and three quarters. The delta is 0.25, so it gained 25% in value. And it's just that simple. But there's another way to look at delta, and it's kind of the secret uh, to some. It's the approximate probability of expiring in the money. So that means at 0.25, there's a 25% chance of expiring in the money and 75% chance of expiring worthless. And remember, delta is always moving with price and time. So we're gonna look at delta in relation to what are the chances of an option expiring worthless? That's how we're gonna look at it. And it's not the probability of a winning trade. There's one other thing we're going to look at here in terms of the Greek. It's the theta secret, as we call it, sensitivity to time. As you know, options are a wasting asset. They have limited life. So when you say theta, it's expressed as a negative number equaling one day of time decay. Okay, so here's an example. An option's at 10 points. Theta is negative 0 0.05, and that means the next day, all things remaining equal, uh, the premium be 9.95, the next day after that 9.90, and so forth. So options, let's take a look here. Options will always tend to, um, the value of the premium will always drop to zero as you get close to time zero, um, as it gets closer to expiration, of course, if you're out of the money. so. Credit spread traders, you want to be boring. You don't want to be the life of the party. The whole goal is to sell these out of the money spreads and then watch time pass. Okay, you want to be like this guy here. I think that's Milton, isn't it, from Office Space? You want to be boring. And that's the whole idea. But of course, it's never that easy, is it? You need the right tools, they're, they're not the correct risk management. But let's look at a, a quick example here. Here's selling a call spread on the E-mini S&P. Market's trading here around 3320 or so. You sell a 3530 call, you receive four and a half points for doing it, and you buy a 3550 call and you pay two and a quarter, and the net premium you collect is $112.50 minus your commissions. So that's selling a call spread, pretty simple. Now what about selling a put spread? Same kind of thing, sell a 2990 put, three points, you buy a 2970 put, and you pay one point, and your net premium that you collect is 100 bucks. And we always do this simultaneously, we're not legging in or legging out. Now remember, these are not naked options, these are insured or hedged positions, your maximum risk is capped. These are covered option spreads, not naked. No naked options. If anyone's trading naked options, uh, think twice, I would uh, encourage you. It might work for a long time, but when it doesn't work, uh, it won't work in a big way. And also with naked options, you're gonna have margin problem problems. With covered options, you'll never have margin calls or margin issues. They can be a nightmare. So here's a strategy called an iron condor. It's non-directional. It's a combination of the bull put spread and the bear call spread that we just saw. 
And let me show you what it looks like on a graph. You're selling a call spread and a put spread. You collect the premium and the index. The whole intent is for the index to stay within that range. Now here's a secret strategy, the dragonfly. You've never heard of it it's because we came up with this years back, gave it the name, the dragonfly. It's a six-legged option spread. So it's non-directional, it's just a variation on the condor. So what does it look like? Well, let's take a look. So let's look at the calls here, for example. So you would sell four, a quantity of four, of these 3330 calls. At the same time, you buy three further out of the money calls, and you buy one closer to the money call. Now you notice the one you buy is a 3290 compared to the four that you sold at 3330. So that's a 40 point difference. The one you buy is 40 points closer to the money compared to the ones that you have sold. So as, as the market might move closer to the upper boundary, the one you buy is going to gain in value quicker than the ones that you sold. And also it won't lo lose as much time value or theta. Theta decay will, will not impact it as much. And the same thing on the puts. You do the same quantity on the puts as you do on the calls. And that's the structure of a dragonfly. We're going to look at a demo in just a second. Another couple short uh, option directional strategies for premium collection. Just do half. You can just do one side of a dragonfly. Maybe just sell the calls. Or maybe just sell the puts. And then here's our a bearish strategy. We like to call it a bear hedge. You're simply selling an out-of-the-money call spread and you're buying an out-of-the-money put spread at the same time. So the money you receive for selling the call spread, you use that to buy the out-of-the-money put spread. And then if the market stops to starts to drop, the puts that you uh, put spread you buy would gain in value and the call spread you sold would lose value. And that's what you want. And of course, the same thing you could do with uh, what we call a bull hedge. You buy out-of-the-money call spread, and you sell an out of the money put spread to fi finance that purchase. So with that said, we're gonna jump into a demo in just a second. So here, how would you know what option trades to make? You're like Jackie Chan, feeling confused, where to start, what to sell, what to buy, what's the price? How do I know when to buy and sell? How do you manage the risk and the rewards? So I thought there was kind of a funny image here, the drum roll sound, we can't give you the sound, but just imagine it. So it's called Theta Trader. These are pre-built credit and debit spreads. We have a proprietary algorithm that creates what we call theta trades, same sophisticated strategies we just looked at and more, bull, bear, and flat market conditions. Okay, and these are automated risk and profit management. So we have something called the risk thermal indicator. It's a color coded and it will actually automatically take you out of your trade when it reaches profit or risk thresholds. So we're gonna show you how to take action in just a second. We're gonna jump into a demo. Let me go ahead and switch over again. All right, have to jump through a few hoops here to switch over. Got it several screens. Okay, so now you are looking at the dashboard for a Theta Trader. This is our options trading platform. It's proprietary to us at AltaVest. We developed this and built this and people absolutely love using it. And let me show you why. This is what it looks like here. And you can see uh, some of this is just for the demo account. It wouldn't be on your account, but you can see current quotes. You can see any account info pulled directly from your trading account. And you see this section called Theta Trades and open sold or short positions and open bot positions. So let's start at the beginning and I'll explain this here. So you can see you can choose a bullish, a bearish, or a neutral stance. And if you're looking, the Theta Trader algorithm will pre populate everything for you based on what your outlook is. And you're looking at the e mini SP 500, the NASDAQ mini or the Russell 2000 mini. So these are primarily the markets we're trading, and for the most part, it's the ES. That's where the volume is, that's where the action is, and I'll give you the numbers on that in just a second. But so I think the best thing to do is just show you how it works. So let's go ahead and look at, <clears throat> since we, excuse me, I have a frog in my throat here. 
Let me get a sip of water. Okay, better. So that we looked at the condor, let's start there. So you click on condor, you can see the algorithm has pre-populated all the condors available for today, anywhere from 17 to 56 days till expiration, different uh, expirations on the E-mini S&P 500, and they've already pre-populated and filled out the strike prices. So let's click on this one here. And before I show you that, let me let me point out here as well, uh, the acronyms, if you hover the mouse on top, you'll see what they mean. So this is your maximum profit potential at expiration and your targeted annualized return at expiration. And uh, one thing to point out too is we never recommend holding on to a short option position till expiration. We always want to be out for a win or a loss, one way or another, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But So we clicked on this one here, the June end of month, and the first thing I like to do is look at the chart. This is what that trade looks like right now. These are the, the call spread that you're selling and the put spread that you're selling. And you can see the difference uh, between the, <clears throat> the puts and the calls here. You're selling the 2320 put, right? And you're selling the um, 3230 call, right? So that uh, over night was at 910 points spread between the calls that you're selling. And you're, you can look just at the calls here or just at the puts, but let's look at the whole condor. And you can see 56 days till expiration. It's settled at 2.8 points, net premium of $140. Here's your put risk and your call risk. And we look at the, the put risk as what is required. So really, you take your put risk minus the premium you receive, and this is the cash required. This is what is needed to place this trade, $881. Now your profit potential maximum here is $119. And then your targeted return on cash, 13.5%, and your targeted annualized return, 88%. Of course, it wouldn't be realistic to expect to annualize a trade like this. You wouldn't be able to do it uh, over and over and over for a year. So really use that TAR figure to compare uh, you know, one trade to another. You can see basically the less time you have, the higher that annualized return. Now, having said that, why? Here's a question we get. Why would you risk put up 881 to make a maximum of 119? Remember, we talked about higher probability trading, higher probability options. So the put that we're selling, the 2320 put, has a 9.9 .9 delta. That means there's over a 90% probability that this option would expire out of the money. And look at the call, the 3230 call. The delta is 6.42%. So you're talking over 93% probability that this call is going to expire out of the money. So these are the types of higher probability uh, options and strategies and outcomes that we're looking for. And you can see it's pre-formatted here and populated to sell. You're selling the condor, meaning you're collecting the premium. The quantity always defaults to one. Let's just say we did, uh, I don't know, let's just say we did five of those. You can leave the price at 280 or change it. You can leave it here, change it if you want. And then you go ahead and place the order. And there it is, selling the five at a price of 280. So it's just that simple. Now let's take a look here. There's something called the trade simulator. This is really great stuff. You're going to love this. I've, I've loaded some already for the sake of uh, saving some time. So here's an iron condor. And the trade simulator allows you to go back in time and test any strategy uh, over any time period. And let's say you place an iron condor on this date here, and we can use the play button. You can go one step at a time, one day at a time. You can start from the beginning, or you can just press play. Kind of like to watch it play. Now you can see day by day goes by, and there's 76 days till expiration, 75, 72, 71. And you can see the trade here, the P&L is green. It's starting to turn profitable, okay? And this green is the RTI, and I'm going to show you something in just a second. You're going to love it. And that means good, do nothing. The trade is working, you don't need to do anything. So, you keep watching it. Okay, all is well, No, nothing to do. And it turns blue, and blue means take profits. The algorithm says, you've made enough profit on the trade and get out. But here's the real key, here's the kicker. You can automate this, and I'll show you how. You don't even have to watch it. 
So Theta Trader will automatically trigger that order for you, place the order, and if your order's filled, then you're out. So you have two days here where the algorithm has generated a signal to get out, and you can automate that. Now, what if you decide to bypass that signal, and you're not automating things, and you're not paying attention? Well, let's see what happens. Okay, each day goes by where it's going one day, oh, it turns yellow. That means a little bit of a caution is in order. You're getting close to this upper boundary here now. So the algorithm is uh, raising a little bit of a yellow flag and the trade's now turning negative. It's now, now no longer profitable. So now yellow goes green again, but it's still negative. Yellow again. So it's really, all, oh, look at that, it turns red. Red means too much risk, get out take your loss and move on. So if you had have just ignored this profit taking order here and done nothing, you would have taken a, a winning trade, potentially winning trade and turned it into a potentially losing trade. So that's why it's important to forget your emotions, forget watching it yourself. You wanna automate things. That's the whole point of this tool. Now there's some other simulators we're gonna run through and we're gonna show you the condor versus the dragonfly. Here's a condor on November 20. Let's take a look. You can see the trade's uh, negative, but now it's turning prop up, oh, went negative again. And look at that, took a loss. So you have on January 16, it triggered a loss and you take your, your loss and uh, lick your wounds and move along. And you can automate that if it turns red, you can have Theta Trader submit that order and take your loss. Now, let me show you this. Now, remember this date. Everyone make a mental note of this date here. So you make sure that we do this right. November 20 of 2019, placing an iron condor. So let's look, I think I have the same one here. November 20, 2019, dragonfly. So let's assume you placed a dragonfly on that same day and let's watch what happens. Here's the difference between the condor and the dragonfly. Look at that. It turns profitable with 29 days left. So it give, gives you an opportunity here to have those profit orders automatically triggered, submitted, and placed for you, and close out that trade for a profit. In fact, you see this column here, percentage premium collected at settlement? It's over 100%. You're getting paid to get out of this trade more than what you received. And why is that? Remember, you bought this 3290 call right here. You're long that call option. So as prices are getting closer here, it's gaining the value much more quickly uh, than the four 3330 calls that you sold. So it's giving you a chance there to pull out of that position at a nice profit. And if you wanna go back and look again here, you can see here that if you had a condor placed, you would have been out of that trade for a loss with uh, 16 days remaining. And let's see even the first day here on January 3, it was profitable. And on January 3 here, it was still negative, still losing a little bit of money here on the condor. So it's not to say we don't ever do condors, but the point is that the dragonfly has special characteristics. It's a little bit more robust. It has a totally different risk reward uh, characteristic or trait to it. It's a little more risk averse. And I'll show you that here. Let's just run through an example of a dragonfly. On the dashboard, let's look at a theta trade dragonfly. So here we go, we'll pick today's Dragonfly, June into month. That's the beauty of Theta Trader. it's all built. It does everything for you. And if you're trading options, you're struggling. I know you're struggling trying to figure out which strikes, which expirations, what's your price to get in, where do I get out? You know, you're looking at all these graphs, <clears throat> whatnot, it can be a nightmare. This is all done for you. So here's the Theta Trade for today on this Dragonfly. Here's what it looks like. And same type of thing, but the numbers are just different. <clears throat> Let's take a look at it. So you can see here, uh, the put risk is higher, 5,000, because you're selling a quantity of four. 
<clears throat> and your premium that you collect is higher because you're selling uh, four calls and four puts. Cash required, of course, is higher, and your profit potential is higher. So your targeted return on cash, a little bit lower. I think the condor we looked at was a little over, uh, was it something like a 12%? I don't remember. And your targeted annualized return is also a little bit lower with the dragonfly. And everything's pre-populated, and for some reason you wanted to change any strike, of course you could, but that sort of defeats the algorithm, algorithmic approach. And let's say you wanted to do two of these. You want to just keep it at the same price. That's fine. And you go ahead and you place that order. And also I want to point out the deltas are the same um, puts and calls, the same deltas on the dragonfly as there would be for uh, a condor with the same expiration on any given day. Okay, so go ahead and place that order for the two dragonflies, and there it is. Now let's look at another example here. Let's see here, that was the one we just saw. So here's one from last year, February of last year. Here's a condor. Let's run through this real quick. You don't have to play these, you can go right to the end, but I think it's kind of fun to play them. A little more drama. <laughs> and so this one's working out, it's green, nothing to do, but it is getting close to that upper boundary, isn't it? And look, it finally turns blue. So you had to wait until there were two days remaining till expiration. You had to wait a long time for that trade to turn profitable on that condor. But let's look at a dragonfly, same date, uh, February 14, Valentine's Day of last year. And let's say you placed a dragonfly. All is well, nothing to do, everything's green, trade's turning green. And look at this, look at this. It turned profitable with 34 days remaining. With 34 days remaining, it turned profitable. Compare that to the condor. It didn't mature enough and uh, to the point where you can get out until there were two days left. So the dragonfly gave you a much, much earlier exit opportunity to close out that position compared to the condor. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Now let me show you a couple other strategies real quick. I mean, there's a lot I could show you, but uh, we'll just kind of touch the surface with uh, the condor, the dragonfly. People love, absolutely love the dragonflies something unique that they can't really do elsewhere. And let's take a look here. We have something called the bull hedge and the bear hedge, and I showed you briefly uh, what that was, uh, what that looks like in one of the uh, slides. But quite simply, you're selling an out of the money call spread. You use the premium that you collect to buy an out of the money put spread. So it's a bearish uh, strategy. And I think I have one loaded here. Yeah, we have one loaded just to give an idea here. So that's kind of a situation where if you had sold this out of the money call spread and bought the out of the money put spread at the same time, um, you can see here it ends up in this case working out very, very nicely and turning profitable. So that's kind of how uh, what we call a bear hedge would work. Now, here's the thing let me show you how to do all this. You go under my account, you go to settings. If you want to automate everything, all you do is check that box, activate risk manager, check the box, activate profit directive, check the box, go down, save your changes, and that is it. It's that simple to automate everything with the RTI. So it makes a uh, turns profitable, the RTI will trigger that order for you, or if it there's too much risk, it'll also that trigger for you, trigger that order for you. Now also under my account, we have tutorials here on how to use ThetaTrader. These are all nice videos. There's education. If you need a little uh, review on options, it's all available here. And also, there's a nice little help file. I can just show you this real quick. We don't need to go into it, but here's all of the RTI uh, colors and parameters explained. And here's Info on a strategy review, spread review. If you want to read through that, it's all available as well. And then let's take a look here at research. We offer proprietary research, something called TradeScope. We do this each day. We're looking at analyzing the stock market to maybe help uh, guide you as you look at which trades to place. 
and that's in-house research. And then we also offer something called the uh, daily trading summary. And that's a review of what happened in Asia, what happened in Europe and in the US economically. And we look at uh, anything looking ahead, support resistance zones, and then economic calendar. And that's available uh, as well as part of our research. And there's one other thing here, and then I'll show you this, a couple other things actually. There's something called Trade Builder. I won't spend any time on that, but just so you know, if you wanted to start from scratch and build your own trade, you could go through the menu here, pick your strategy and then just follow the prompt. But that really defeats the whole purpose of Theta Trader. So let me go back and show you, let me just go back to the uh, dashboard. Here are a few ways to look at your open positions and any history. So first of all, you can see how easy it is here on the dashboard to see all of your open short positions and the RTI is green on all these means do nothing. Same thing with the bot positions. You can obviously sell premium, collect premium, but you can also buy some premium if you'd like. Now, it's super easy at a glance to see everything because it's color coded and you would know right away to do nothing. And of course, if you had it automated, you wouldn't need to do anything anyway. But if you want to look at your open positions in more detail, you can look at a full page of them. Okay, and you can see here that there are 17 sold positions and six bought positions on this page. Gives you your uh, basically your you know current status, wins wins or losses there. And if you want to drill down and look at anyone in particular, let's say you want to look at this dragonfly that was placed on uh, April 15. So you just click on that. Scroll down and there you can see, that's the history of that dragonfly so far. So far so good, all is well. And you can see here it's been uh, green the whole time. The trade is now nice and uh, mature and getting ripe and very profitable. And it's probably getting very close for the algo to uh, pull the plug on that for a profit uh, if nothing dramatic happens here. So that's how easy it is to see your open positions. And if you wanna look at your closed positions and look at the history, it's just as easy. And in fact, that's one of the main things we did with Theta Trader. The large catalyst for doing this was how difficult it is to trade complex option spreads and try to track things through a typical brokerage statement. It's almost impossible. And that's why we made this so user-friendly. So you can look at your closed positions here. You could filter any way you wanted or you can just leave it the way it is by default and see everything. You can see there's 20 page, uh, trades on the page, 17 uh, winners, three losers, uh, 15 were short spreads, 14 of those were winners, one was a loser, five were long spreads, three winners, two losers. And this is just a demo account, uh, sort of offering really just when I do these webinars and presentations, just kind of the <laughs> positions are here and that's what we use. And now if you want to look at any particular uh, trade here's a condor trade you want to look at the history on that you just click on it and once again you can drill down and you can see here the history of that trade and you can see here it took profits uh with 29 days remaining in this case so that one worked out nicely so that is that is super super uh what's the word i'm looking for effective efficient convenient and we have people that absolutely love looting, using Theta Trader. You can see how easy it is to use. You can trade in a space that you wouldn't wouldn't have access to otherwise. It'd be very difficult to do this type of thing by yourself. Now, here's the best thing of all. Let me do this for you. We kind of save the best for last. All right, so here we go. Thought this was kind of funny. Reminded me of Lucy and Ethel. Was that a lot to take in at once? Was the conveyor belt going too quickly? I don't think so. I think it's uh, so simple and effective, but this is what we're gonna do here. People ask, can you make it easier? Well, believe it or not, we can. So here's the best thing, the best aspect of Theta Trader, the trade alerts. Literally one minute trading, one touch trades. 
you either touch green to accept or red to reject. None of this nonsense where you have newsletters and emails and you have to log into a third party platform and try to copy everything in and transpose what was said because these alerts are live and they're integrated with your AltaVest trading account. So our technology is all integrated and it flows through from basically the uh, the smart device you're using. It flows through ThetaTrader, connects directly to the Globex exchange at the CME group, and then everything's transacted, flows back and populates your platform, and then you're notified of your fill. It's just that simple. If you like the trade alert, you just touch accept and we handle it. And if you don't like it, you touch reject. It's just that easy. And then you saw how the RTI automatically tracks and manages the position for you. So here's a here's a real short little video. You get a link, you touch that link. Description, here's a condor. You get a graph. That's what the trade looks like. I want to point out here, you, you get the net premium collected, the cash required, the quantity is already pre-sized. In this case, it's just 10. And why is that? How is it pre-sized? Because it's custom and tailored to your account. Theta Trader knows what you have in your account, what the balance is, what your exposure exposure margin, what your strikes are. And you can see here, 71 days till expiration, targeted annualized return, 63%. It gives a quote. It's all right there. And then that is it. That's all you have to do. So you can look at that again one more time. Okay, very good. So, hopefully, um, hopefully you think that's a, a a fantastic platform. We love it. We love both of the platforms. We wanted to show you how much technology can help with your trading. Special offer with everything you need. I think it's an amazing offer, actually. So, hopefully, you're ready to take some action if you think this is going to work for you. Here's what we call our AltaVest membership. Okay, so here we go. AV Systems, here's what you get. Automated Futures Trading Solution. And let's see here, just one moment. I gotta clean up something real quick, real quick. Bear with me. So you saw the AV Systems platform, how that works. 20 years of research and development, professional system developers and programmers, system uh, bots are trading, US and global markets, markets, multiple sectors, and then you have completely transparent trades, full ability to control everything, turn off and on, automated risk and profit management. You have intraday and swing trading systems. And then you can review all that system performance. You can even download the performance history to Excel and, and kind of manipulate all the data if you'd like. So global stock indices, currencies, financials, bonds, precious metals, energies, grains, you name it. So what if you wanted to develop your own algo trading system? Ask us how we know. <laughs> so one programmer to build one algo for one market, just as these guys do, these professionals, uh, it costs a lot of money, over $10,000 give or take i think some people are probably even more expensive than that and you have over 1800 available algos on that platform something called the a list this is what we can do for you and what is that that's our top picks so you want to know if your systems are on the a list or not really value of over 2950 dollars so you have the av systems platform and the a list total value of over 13700 dollars so your AltaVest membership, remember, you also get ThetaTrader. 
the algo driven options solution so you have the theta trader software all those theta trades every day bullish bearish neutral strategies pre-built option spreads something that's very complex to do done for you simple and effective simple trade tracking and i mentioned that earlier how difficult it is to do this uh, just through a, a typical brokerage statement or account. Here's what it looks like with ThetaTrader. Here's what it looks like, typical brokerage statement. It's a nightmare. It's the same technology since I've been in the business for almost 30 years. So you don't want that. And you have the RTI to automatically exit, put things on autopilot, non-emotional. There you go, check the risk manager, check that profit directive. And then you have the simulator for back testing. You saw how cool that is, right? You can go back in time, test uh, various strategies in different windows of time. And then the trade builder, we just saw that, touched on that. So you have Theta Trades, the RTI, the simulator, and the trade builder, a value on that software, $3,588 per year. And then I think this is probably the best of all, the trade alerts, the integrated trade alerts with your trading account. All the trades are tailored for your account. They're pre-sized. It's all integrated. You touch accept and your work is done. I can't tell you how many times people tell us, hey, I was, uh, you know, quite literally, I've been playing golf. I'm on the golf course. I just touched accept. Uh, I'm, I'm flying a plane, <laughs> believe it or not, pilots. Oh, I touched accept. They love it. You can go on with your life. Yearly value on those alerts, $4,464. And I talk to people all the time, and I know the trade alert services are big, but uh, people pay a lot of money for these services, and they're just not that convenient, quite frankly. So the Theta Trader value, you have the software and the trade alerts, a value of over $8,000. So a summary again with your AltaVest membership. Remember, AV System software, the Algo Trading, you get the Theta Trader software for options, and that includes the trade alerts, a value of over $21,000. But here, how do we tie this all together? I think this is the best part of all. Another drum roll sound. You have a private coach that can work with you and bring this all together, bring it all home, as they say. A Series 3 licensed, experienced trader. You have screens, uh, private screen sharing sessions with your private coaching. With systems, you can look at selection, activating, deactivating, A-lists, diversification, Theta Trader. Of course, you can look at all the uh, Theta Trader options, spreads, and selections. Look at the RTI automation. Uh, trade alerts, discuss advanced uh, strategies, all available. That knowledge is priceless. You have a, a basically a mentor, a coach alongside you. This is not a bot. <laughs> We're real people. It's completely different service. This is not a big box brokerage where you have a little chat thing and there's a you know a chat bot. So you develop a relationship. You discuss that strategy, review your history. To have that kind of relationship at worth $7,500 $7, value at least. And in fact, that's way undervalued. And how do I know that? Well, because I talk to people, I, there's a, there's a, go online, you can see. If you want education from some firms, that's all good and well, nothing wrong with that, but uh, it's gonna cost you. And I know places are charging 25 grand and more because you have to pay for three other courses just to get there. And uh, I'm saying with ThetaTrader, with AV Systems, with AltaVest, you won't need that. We can provide that type of training for you. So really what you get, the software, 13,000. Theta Trader, 3,500. The Trade Alerts, the Trading Coach, a value of $29,000. That's all part of your AltaVest membership. And I'm gonna get corny with that phrase, but wait, there's more. And uh, there is a little bit more. Don't, don't, uh, don't get going yet. We're just getting started, folks. So proprietary trade scope and commentary research, value of $2,900. And of course you have the online tutorials, that's all included as well. So you have all of that, the AV systems, algo trading, the theta trader software for options and the trade alerts with your trading coach and the proprietary research, a value of over $32,000. Okay, we won't even do it at half price. Remember I told you up front, we're gonna do a lot better than that. So I'll, I'll get on with it. But remember, it's gonna save you a ton in fees, subscriptions, we had another guy just this week and he said you mean you don't even charge for data no you don't even charge for your alerts no that's included and of course with the educational expenses you don't need that we can help you save all that time and aggravation absolutely i think it'll be the one thing that works for you save you time you can cancel subscriptions lower your aggravation this little guy says yep you betcha it would
And I know others have paid tens of thousands for algo systems. I've talked to people who have paid $25,000 just for one system. So um, maybe some of you have, but I think there's a better way. So you have the algo systems and the option trading software with the trade alerts, AV systems offered together. We've only started doing it this month actually. So uh, we had a great response last week and we have another presentation for you today with a similar special offer. 997 one-time membership price for your AltaVest membership. We'll do even better than that. 20% discount, act before Sunday night. So there is the link, cf.altavest.com forward slash AVM. So that means uh, uh, AltaVest membership. That's kind of the acronym there, which is what I came up with. Remember, that's a one-time payment, only $7.97. And there's no excuse, 30 day guarantee, 30 day guarantee. But you don't like it, that's okay. We're not holding you captive. Uh, no, no harm, no foul, but 30 day guarantee. But I think you're gonna love it. And there's the link there, as well as our phone number if you have any comments or questions. But quite frankly, most people just simply uh, go online and sign up and we get them started. And remember, this is a one-on-one -on -one type of service. Like I mentioned, this is not you know, an online only type of thing. So you're going to have this boutique level of service, kind of uh, something that's from a bygone era, but we like it and our clients like it. Now here's a little section, bet you didn't know. Futures and options are tax efficient. What am I talking about? Here's an example. You're trading stocks with 100 grand, you have a 20% return, and you're in the highest bracket. Your tax liability is $7,400. That's 12.6% return. If you're trading with us, futures and futures options, that same that same uh, a scenario there, you're going to end up with a $5,360 tax liability, a rate of return of 14.64%, savings of over $2,000, just because you're trading in a tax efficient instrument. And there's no more itemizing, no wash sales or anything. You get one number, your PL, you plug it in, and that's it. And then once again, why alternatives? Well, it may improve diversification, lower portfolio risk, to potentially reduce overall portfolio volatility, lower correlations to traditional investments, improve the risk return profile, may help grow an investor's total return. And here's a little few articles here I thought that were interesting. A few months back, it says stock markets, 10-year returns have a strong tendency to regress to the mean, particularly good decades are followed by mediocre or worse decades. And the last decade was so outstanding in stocks, the next decade is likely to be less so. And then this is interesting, a great article in Barron's I just read, the great disconnect about stocks and everything else. And uh, I think there's a lot of truth to that. You have, we have great depression economic data at the same time, you have the Federal Reserve and you have the federal government essentially printing money and throwing money around to try to keep the economy propped up. So who's going to win? I don't know, but um, there is a disconnect there. Jeffrey Gunlach, the bond king, thinks the stock market's going to make new lows. Maybe, maybe not. But you know, a lot of these strategies we talked about aren't necessarily um, relying on perfectly picking a direction. And that's what's great about it. Here, Jeffrey, uh, I'm sorry, um, Jer Jeremy Grantham. He thinks the uh, next 20 years, you're going to have 2 or 3% real stock market returns. And uh, that was from, actually, he's turning out to be right. So once again, these are non-correlated alternatives. And that means they are not uh, really, they're not going to be connected to the performance of any benchmark. You're not just going to buy stocks and sit on them and hope they go up. With these strategies, you can be uh, nimble, maneuverable, work in any direction, even non-directional strategies. So does your portfolio look like this, like this, or like this? We like number three. Now here's a few FAQs. Why ES options? Well, they have superior execution. They have a cost savings of four to $15 per contract. And they have a tight spread. So the five reasons to trade options on the S&P 500. 
large volume, liquidity, and access in the e-mini futures markets, absolutely. And then deep liquidity, 630,000 average daily volume in 2019. Important source of liquidity in the S&P 500. Absolutely, I think that number is probably double by now. And this is interesting too. Out of all the S&P 500 options at the CME group, you see the green line here? 94% of those are the e-mini, the ones that we trade. So that's the place you want to be. They have the largest market share, densely packed strikes, more than 100 annual expirations, very granular. So you can find the strikes you need. The algorithm searching and looking for strikes. If you try to do this on equities, it's not going to work. They don't go that far out. They're not that liquid. It just doesn't work. You can track one or two markets, not thousands. You have a clear cost structure that's not opaque and efficient margin use. Remember, with these e-mini futures options, there are no hidden cost. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about in just a second. It's not a security option. Different space, trading at the CME group. There's no payment for order flow. None of that nonsense. One electronic market for all, large or small. Equal treatment. Every order is treated equally on the Globex electronic exchange. And what am I talking about? The hidden cost of stock trading. Article from Seeking Alpha. Robinhood makes millions selling out the millennial customers to the high frequency traders. And they get millions of dollars in cash income by selling their customer orders to the high frequency trading meat grinder. The high frequency traders are not charities. The only reason they would pay Robinhood tens to hundreds of millions of dollars is that they can exploit the retail customers. Wow. So if you're not familiar with that, that's what happens. It's not free. It's okay if you want to trade stocks, but it's not free. You're 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 paying for it. And what do I mean by that? It says Schwab and others confirm their status as casinos. No such thing as a free lunch. The stock brokerages are not charities. They make up lost commission revenue in other ways, way down in the guts of their workflow process where few people notice. So basically when you place your order, your orders are not filled by the brokerage firm. A third party fills it like Citadel. It's all happening at the, you know, the speed of light, of course, in nanoseconds. But essentially, they're, they're filling your orders and they're providing the liquidity, as they like to say. But there's a cost in doing that. And that's essentially in the, the, uh, the fills that you're receiving. And you'll have no idea what your fill could have otherwise been if it were not filled by a third party. So anyway, what's the performance of Theta Trader, people ask? Well, the answer is that it's a trading platform and it's for self-directed clients and self-directed clients make their own trading decisions. They decide what trades to place, when to trace them, when to modify them or not. So everyone's different. And all performance calculations are net. They're net of all trading costs. That's important to point out. Then here's a question. How much money should I use with my AltaVest membership? Well, our answer is you might want to hold multiple option spreads in ThetaTrader, and then you have several active systems in AV system. So we suggest a minimum of 50,000, maybe to 100,000 uh, split equally between the two platforms. And in fact, if you trade with 100,000, we'll refund that membership fee for you. Ask us for details on that. And then trading account types. Yes, we trade IRA accounts. People ask that all the time. Absolutely, we do. Uh, individual, joint, corporate, all the usual types of accounts, trust, LSC, you name it. So you've seen that AltaVest has a membership here that is the answer for automated systems and options trading. We're using technology to, to guide us and to help us make our lives easier. So be a part of the winning team. We'd love to have you on board. We're serious about long-term success. We've been doing this many, many years. And there is the deal. One-time fee, only $7.97, special offer for you. There's a live presentation. We always like to give a discount for that. And that includes the Algo Systems on AV Systems, includes the Theta Trader Options Trading, and then the, um, the Coup de Gras, right? The personal coaching that ties it all together. So cf.altavest.com forward slash AVM is a link to go to. And there's our phone number, 949-346-1373. Now, let me do this. I see a lot of questions that have come in, a lot of questions that I've answered. So let's see if there's anything that I didn't approach. Okay. 
Yep, someone's asking, yes, these are the automated systems, the developer fees are all different and they come out of your account, they're prorated as well. And let's see here, we talked about deactivating and activating systems and you can choose multiple systems, that's correct, as long as you have the capital, uh, absolutely. Let's see. And you will see if a system is being traded with live money, but you will not know if a system is being traded, uh, you know, by a hundred people or ten people. And let's see here. And which platform are the systems set up with? Well, this that is the platform. AV Systems is the system platform. And let's see here. And people are asking about the Dragonfly, first time I've heard of it. Well, that's because we created it, <laughs> absolutely. And yeah, any any type of non-directional strategy, whether it's um, any type of selling premium strategy, if you have a large market move in a short period of time, it, it could come under pressure. So, you know, they're not, not invulnerable or invincible. And that's why you have the automated risk controls. So absolutely. Uh, no, the slippage on these markets is as low as you could possibly find. They're the most liquid and active in deep markets, period. And let's see here. Someone asking about the recorded presentation. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, we do not trade stocks. So we're just trading on the E-mini S&P 500, NASDAQ and Russell, and on the uh, options trading platform, ThetaTrader, and of course, AV Systems is trading various global markets and futures contracts. And yes, you can always select limited risk trades, of course, and these trades are executed through us at AltaVest. We are the brokerage firm. We created these platforms and this technology. And you would open your account with AltaVest and that's how you would then have access to these platforms. And these are futures and futures options only. There's no other software you need other than what we just talked about. It's not even software. It's a, a SaaS service, software as a service. So you don't have to download anything or anything like that. And these are only futures options. If you want to back test, you're more than welcome to do so with the trade simulator. And uh, someone's asking, yes, uh, uh, the commissions on Theta Trader are five and a quarter. That's flat. That's round turn, meaning all in. And uh, if you go, I just went and looked at one of the big box brokerage firms. I looked at their site and they say we're, um, I think they said it was 240. But keep, be careful, that's per side. And then they don't even add the clearing and exchange fees on top of that, which makes it even more expensive. So our rates are very, very competitive. Um, on the other hand, we're offering a completely different service. So we're competitive and we still offer personal service. And it is not an ongoing annual subscription. It's a one-time fee to become an AltaVest member. $7.97 before Sunday night. And let's see here. And you'd fund your account just like any other brokerage firm. You send a bank wire or uh, we do an ACH transfer. And you can absolutely transfer IRA accounts. We have it all the time. Let's see here. And let's see, someone mentions Jeffrey Gunlach. Minimum amount of capital. Uh, basically, if you want to trade both, the minimum is uh, 50,000. If you're interested in maybe just one or the other, you could get away with 25,000. And let's see here. We're typically, it, it says if you live out of the USA, it depends where you live, you'd have to ask us. So feel free to email us, uh, info at altavest.com. And let's see here. Let's see, I think we are, well, there are a lot of questions, good stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot accept Canadian clients. I see that a few times. And yes, AV Systems can trade currencies. Uh, it trades the pound and the Eurex and I mean and the Euro currency and so forth. So absolutely, there are currencies available. And that uh, let's see, your typical developer fee it varies. It could be twenty dollars. It could be a hundred dollars uh, per month, and that comes right out of your account. And all performance is net of all those fees. And let's see here. I think that's going to cover it. I think uh, 
I think there's a lot of similar questions and very good. So that's um, that's a great turnout. Thanks for all the questions, everyone. I think we'll wrap it up. If you have any other questions, um, no, there are no developer fees. And let's see here. Go ahead and if you have any questions, you can mail me, uh, email Eric, E-R-I-K, at altavest.com. And you can also go to that uh, website on the screen right there. And um, once again, too, if you like it, it's probably worthwhile signing up and you do have that 30 day guarantee. That's probably the best way to find out if it's something you really, really um, find valuable. So we don't want you you know, involved. If you don't think it's valuable, we're not going to twist your arm. So on the other hand, most people really, really love it. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for your time, everyone. I, have, um, I think I've reached uh, the end here, maximized our attention spans and <laughs> that'll do it. So uh, have a great rest of the week and uh, keep in touch and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.